Remember your first town night at camp? Someone folded a Kleenex, and it served as three props in an old familiar tale. Greater Cleveland Chorus is taking a lighthearted walk down memory lane, and we'd like to take you with us. Remember the beautiful, pure dad yeah. in distress? Our little Nellie has a delightful voice, which she enjoys raising to the rafters, even though sometimes it spikes just a touch, and she doesn't always sing above the portals, but inside her head it sounds ooh, ooh, good. Here comes our lovely Nellie now. But wait, what's this? Our lovely Nelly seems distressed. Could that evil villain Snidely Eyelash have something to do with the sick blue tear that graces her features in green complexion? Nelly, never fear, the sun will soon shine again. Wait till the sun shines, Nelly. Oh no, just as we suspected, Nelly's distress is due to the evil villain Snidely eyelash! Now my father wants to be good and win the hands of our fair lady Nelly, but he can't seem to overcome the desire to dominate every quartet he's ever participated in. His inability to blend his voice has led to a lifelong disappointment and envy of his nemesis, Dudley Dugan, our leading man. Snidely has turned his evil attention to our fair maid. You must pay the rent. Oh, I can't pay the rent. <laughs> you must pay the rent. But I can't pay the rent. And then, and then, he grabbed her. His evil standing on man, he turns into the railroad tracks. In the distance, a train was looking at me home. Is our lovely Nelly Dunford? Could this be the last time we hear her carefully turn a diphthong? 
flattering attention, she sashays off. After all, she and the four Betty's have plans to go shopping. Our handsome hero is besotted with her beauty and stares open mouth. What a woman!